we'll come back to the spider's web and uh, just going with a little bit more work on these chops here. So, one thing I have forgotten to do, your man here has got his mouth open. So, what we're going to have to do is add a little bit of screaming skull. Just a little touch, not all that much, just in between his lips there. Oh, I don't feel confident with this at all. Let me just. There we are. Looks better now. There we go. That's that one. Now, <coughs> the next thing we want to do is continue with the beast and cobra. So I'll tell you what, we'll put these to one side and those two on the side. Now, so we're concentrating on these two at the moment. So, what we want to do is using some of the iron breaker and some of the screaming skull that we just put out and some of the blue that we've been using for the um, whatchamacallit oh dear All right. I want to say armour um, plates but it's not really armour is it? it's just like a kind of harnessy type thing I don't know but I'm just going to add a little bit of blue just to this as a highlight oops there we are and I'll just do a little bit along the edge as well not going all the way down to the bottom. I just want to make it because all the lights going down the sides as well as across the top of it. There we go, just like so. And on the back there and then up here. All along. And I'm Hoping on a Friday evening at the Games Club that I'll be able to sort out something for a games night with this. But we'll have to wait and see. I'm just doing a little bit of edge highlighting down this part. Just to show that there's detail, make it stand out just a little bit more than would normally be done. And now a 
little bit more here. Like so. And next, a little bit of watering with this because it's getting a little bit dry. I don't want to be running out. There we go. And finally it's down here. Now on the top of the and let's adjust let's go and go with some edges rather than actually doing much in the line of um, any serious painting. There we are. And I don't think we've got much else to do now. It's just this. And that should do. So that really is all we can do for there. Next we want to use Wazdaka Red. <coughs> which is this one. It's the darker of the red two reds that I've got. So I've got Wazdaka Red and Evil Sun Scarlet. Um, yeah, fine detail brush little bit on the palette and it's just to do the size of this cross. I don't know whether it's supposed to be done like this or not but this is how I'm doing it. Just like so. And then using, oh, going back to the um, Screaming Skull. In fact, no, not the Screaming Skull yet. I'll do that a bit later. This one we're using Balor Brown. <coughs> And for this, we're going to be using, or we're going to be using this rather, on the claws of its hands and feet.
like so. Dee 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 dee. That's one hand done. Can we see anything on the other hand? Yes. Oops. A little bit too much there. We just do all the areas of the claw that we can see and now the toes like so we are going to be using another colour to highlight these can, if you wish, go over with um, something like uh, Agrax Earthshade Wash, but there's not really much point in doing so. Also do the teeth with this as well. Just like so. Top and bottom, obviously. is that done next so we'll go with the screaming skull get some of that on the brush and pop it on our palette and with this we'll do One eye. Two eye. And we'll just highlight the top of the claws. And then oops, wrecking the place, and then from that, we'll do the teeth as well. Surprised she doesn't have bigger fangs, but that just may be a, a moulding issue rather than natural model itself. And there we go. And then what we're going to be using is Rhinox Hide, which is the dark brown colour you've seen before many many times I'm going to have a little bit of water on the brush 
little bit of the paint and oops, just a small amount of the paint on the brush and There we go. Next, in fact, what we could do is mix in some of the rhinoxide with the bleached bone, or the uh, screaming skull rather. And the flesh colour we used for. Um, something or other and we will go up here So you can use whatever colour you see fit to use for this. It doesn't have to be anything set as long as it looks fairly similar. To the base colour but obviously much lighter. Because we want to highlight it, remember. There we go. And there we are. A little bit more water. also do a little bit on the shall we say fingers for want of a better word and and toes as well. We don't want to go too extreme with this highlight it's just to brighten it up a touch. There we are. And there's the beast. Right next we're going to be using <coughs> that same blue that we use for this here if we have enough mixed, which I don't think we have. Oh, what was it? Cantor blue mixed with a little bit of the Dawnstone and a little bit of the Screaming Skull. So I'm just after a little bit of the Cantor blue. touch more of the, well I'm saying a touch more, mix it how you see fit, that's what I'm doing and for this we're going over the head bit of water on the brush. This as usual quite a, a dilute paint. I 
and we just push the paint around to where we want it to go. Arms, shoulders, anywhere you think the light is going to hit, that's where you want it. And that will do fine. Uh, what we're trying to do here is, as I say, highlight the, the main body area. And I say I don't want it black. The reason I don't want it black is I don't want two characters that's going to be predominantly black. Um, the spi um, spider is going to be black. Um, spider is going to be black. Blue jay is going to be slightly different to this, but still quite a bit bluey. I don't want I don't want really two characters that are predominantly black, which is why I've gone for a bluish shade for this fella. You see more sense than trying to do any other colour. I think it looks better. I think it looks better than just playing black this to be honest. Oops, I've got a little bit of this blue on the strapping the belt or whatever it may be. But again, not really bothered as it will be disguised when I go over and do the um, highlighting on that part. <laughs> Which surprisingly is going to book next.